Hi friends, today we are going to discuss the objectives of financial statements. What are the objectives of financial statements? That is our question today. Financial statements are prepared for satisfying the common needs of the stakeholders of a business. Therefore, see, let us see the most important objectives of financial statements. The first objective is to provide useful information to the management for the purpose of decision making. Dear friends, I am going to list seven important objectives related with the financial statements. And the first important objective is to provide useful information to the management for the purpose of decision making. In connection with the role of management in a business, I like to bring to your attention an important technical term. And that technical term is stewardship. S-T-E-W-A-R-D-S-H-I-P. Stewardship. Who is a steward? Steward is a person who takes care of the valuables of some other person. A caretaker. A caretaker is known as steward. Management has the same role of a caretaker in the case of a company. Stewardship role. Role of management is stewardship role and management should take rational decisions for and on behalf of the shareholders. And financial statements help the management to take rational decisions. That is the first important objective of financial statement. And the Second objective of financial statement is to give information to the shareholders. Dear friends, shareholders of a company are the actual owners of the business. Real owners are shareholders. And to provide information to the shareholders about the financial position of the company and it is possible to financial statements. That means to disclose the shareholders about the changes in the assets, changes in the liabilities and changes in the capital over a particular period of time. Financial statements disclose this information. Financial statements disclose information relating to changes in assets, capital and liabilities over a period of time. And therefore, see, these financial statements help the shareholders to assess the profitability of the business, to what extent it is profitable. And at the same time, these financial statements help the shareholders to assess the liquidity of the business, repayment capacity, repayment capacity, discharge of financial commitments, short-term financial commitments. And at the same time, these financial statements help the shareholders to assess the solvency of the business, ability to repay long-term financial commitments. And therefore, first objective is to actually management to help the management to take decisions. Second objective is to shareholders to help them to assess the profitability, liquidity and the solvency of the business. And the third objective is to creditors, lenders and creditors. These creditors provided or supplied money to the business on credit basis. And see, actually, it is the duty of the company to disclose the credit worthiness of the company to the shareholders. Financial statements demonstrate the credit worthiness of the company to the shareholders. 
to the lenders and creditors. And financial statements help lenders and creditors for evaluating the ability of a company in repaying their money. Therefore, demonstration of the creditworthiness of the business to lenders and creditors, that is the third objective. First objective is to management, to help the management to take decisions. Second objective is the, to shareholders to help them to assess the profitability, liquidity and solvency of the business. And the third objective is to demonstrate the creditworthiness to the creditors and lenders. Then the fourth objective. Fourth objective is to provide something to the government. That means to the government. Financial statements help to abide by the rules and regulations of the government. That I mean, financial statements help to abide by the various tax, legal and governmental regulations. To abide by the various tax, legal and governmental regulations. That I mean, to comply with the tax formalities, to comply with the legal formalities, to comply with the government regulations. It is the duty of the business to comply with the legal formalities at the right time. Financial statements help to comply with these formalities. That is the fourth objective. First objective is to management to, to help the management to take rational decisions. Second objective is to shareholders to help them to assess the profitability, liquidity and solvency of the business. The third objective is to creditors to demonstrate them the creditworthiness of the business. The fourth objective is to abide by the various tax, legal and governmental regulations. To help the management to abide by the various tax, legal and governmental regulations. And the fifth objective, it is to the auditor. I say statutory audit is compulsory in the case of a company. And an auditor bases his audit on financial statements. Therefore, financial statements are required to facilitate the statutory audit of accounts. That is the fifth objective. Statutory audit of accounts. Facilitating the statutory audit of accounts. Then the sixth objective is to the, to the prospective investors. To provide information to the prospective investors who are interested in investing the business. That means information should be given to the prospective investors about the financial position of the business. And prospective investors can take rational decisions regarding their investments with the help of financial statements. Therefore, the first objective is to the management. It helps the management to take rational decisions. The second objective is to the shareholders, to help the shareholders to assess the profitability, liquidity and solvency of the business. And the third objective is to help the creditors, to help the creditors and lenders with regard to the assessment of creditworthiness of the business. And the fourth objective is related to the government to help the management to comply with the tax, legal and governmental regulations. And the fifth objective is to facilitate the statutory audit of the business. And the sixth objective is to help the prospective investors to take rational decisions regarding their investments with the help of financial statements. And the last objective is related to the public at large. Businesses have a social responsibility. Therefore, financial statements provide information to the public at large about the performance of the business. And in short, let us conclude all the seven objectives. First, 
to help the management to take rational decisions. Second, to help the shareholders to assess the profitability, liquidity and solvency of the business. And third, to help the creditors to assess the creditworthiness of the business. And fourth, to help the management to comply with tax, legal and governmental regulations. And fifth, to facilitate the statutory audit of the company. And sixth, to help the prospective investors to take decisions with regard to their investment in the company. And seven, to the public at large to assess whether the company is performing or whether the company is discharging its corporate social responsibility. In short, the objective of financial statements is to help all the stakeholders to conduct a short analysis of the business based on financial statements. Shareholders are able to conduct a SOT analysis, WOT, SOT, S4 strength, W4 weakness, O4 opportunities and T4 threats. All the stakeholders are able to conduct a SOT analysis with regard to the performance of the business with the help of financial statements. It helps all the stakeholders to take appropriate and rational decisions. I conclude. I hope all of you enjoyed this lecture. Please be kind enough to point out your comments in the comment box. Bye. See you again. Thank you.